Two guys, one topic. Counting down from five. This is the Topical Five. Topical Five. Here's Matt and John. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Matt, and that's my best friend in the whole wide world, John. What's going on, man? Yo, what up, baby? Really? That's how we're doing this? That's awesome. <laughs> Hey, I mean, so new show, new me. That's okay. You know, it is. You know, twenty twenty one. Trying to come with the sexiness. You know, after six years of doing the unsuited, we're trying something completely brand new. Oh man, yeah, we back, baby. Just you know, the intro kind of says what's going to happen. It's going to be a top five list of a specific topic. Yep, and we're going to go with it. We and, call it the topical five. And you see the title, you already know what we're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> so this episode actually is going to be kind of my um, my homage, my yep. uh, my friendly gesture to all of our mascot fans from all. Uh, all the years we've been doing the, the unsuited, unsuited table. Um, so I wanted to make sure that my first and our very first one was going to be about NFL mascots. Oh, good choice. NFL mascots. Uh, and I'm sure you kind of already know we've done mascots before, yeah. but I want to get right into it. And like I said, top five. And this isn't my opinion. This is no science. There's no scientific data involved. Are you sure? I, I did research to make sure. I asked a few people if my list was stupid. <laughs> Just to make sure. It's hard because a lot of mascots aren't really doing much right now. Yeah. So this is going based on my memory or guys who are still doing stuff now or girls. I got you. I got so, you. So uh, let's kick it off, man. Number five. So my f- number five. What you got? Um, We're going all the way out to Denver, Colorado. Ooh. Denver Broncos. We got okay. Miles. 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 The Bronco. He's a horse. I'm about to say, Miles is pretty good. He's actually doing pretty big on the, the TikTok game, too. I think TikTok has changed a lot of mascots. Yeah, it's a different world. I like him. First of all, he's a skinny mascot, you know, like mm-hmm. the human shape. So, you know, I'm not going to hold that against him because, you know, I'm more of a fat mascot kind of guy. Uh-huh. Um, but he's high energy. I love that about him. Um, I love his attitude. Okay. I love the attitude he portrays. It's kind of like, you know, kind of a little bit badass. Yeah. He, He's he's badass before the gritty. Yeah, he he really uh, horses around a lot. Oh, wow. No, nope. I, oh, wow. I was trying the pun thing. I appreciate that. But <laughs> he is the one thing that's really interesting about him um, is that he is a pee wee football destroyer. Really? Have you ever seen the videos of him playing the kind of like, side swiping people? Oh, he's he, he's he's a beast. He's an absolute beast. So uh, yeah, he comes in at number five. Let's find out who's number four. Number four. Number four is all the way from the Carolina Panthers. Ooh. Sir Purr. I know Sir Purr. Came out the same year as Jacksonville. Okay. We'll see where he lands on the list. <laughs> um, spoiler. <laughs> um, I like him because he's a goofball. He's a fat mascot. Yeah. Um, nothing fancy when it comes to the design. He's a black hat. Yeah, playing in one of his own players thought he was a um, a bear on the jumbotron. It made How national news. How did that even happen? He was asking. They had him. The, the players mic'd up, and he asked yeah. the dudes like, "Hey." What's that bear doing up there dancing? He's like, <laughs> and the player that his uh his and he's a rookie. Yeah, and the other guy's like, uh, that's our team mascot, Sir Purr, and he's like, Sir who, Sir Purr? <laughs> he says, Sir who? <laughs> it's a it's a great little video, Just, Sir Purr a lot. And so of course it became kind of a social media thing because oh, Sir Purr man. went after him, you know, kind of making it like you know who are you kind of thing. It was, oh, it was that's fun. funny. So you know he's got some social media chops. Um, great dancer. Mm-hmm. Um, but also in the past he was um pretty good on on the YouTube. He was okay. one of the first mascots. I think it was doing like the big skits and everything. Yeah. He had a great one um, that we were going to do with Ozzy. And that was where he was dressed up as um, like a scarecrow. He was had a scarecrow and he was at like a pumpkin oh, patch. Oh, just pretending like he's he fake. Was, yeah, he was at a pumpkin patch. So he was like yep. leaning back and people would come to get a picture and he'd you know, grab him. Classic stare. Loved it. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to number three. Number three is we're going to keep it in the AFC. Um Houston Texans, Toro. Really? Oh, yeah, How the Toro. hell did Toro make this list? Okay, <laughs> there's two main reasons. The okay. first one is he is really good on the social media. Mm, okay, He's got a yeah, lot yeah. of little skits and things. Um, some of the stuff is skill-based. Some of it's just comedic timing. Okay. He's also a skinny mascot, so I'll let that slide. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but he's got some cool game day entrances. Like Jackson for the longest time was known for like jumping off of jumping stuff. Jumping off the scoreboard. He, he would do the reverse where he'd get slingshotted out of the tunnel into the field because they're in a, they're in a, um, a closed off oh, okay. stadium, you know, with a roof so they can do a yeah. little bit more. Um, but I've always liked his stuff. Um, and he was the, the, the performer that we know as Toro. And the reason Toro is doing as well as he is was once a backup under my number two person. Number two. Number two is the Kansas City Chiefs own KC Wolf. Super Bowl champs. Man. KC Wolf. KC Wolf got it, dude. Um, Just, I think it's this old school comedy. Dan Mears has been doing this for like 100 years. Mm-hmm. 
Um, he's like the Bernie Sanders of mascotting. <laughs> he's just been around a long is that, time. Is that a thing? I don't know. I just made that up. Oh, um, I like it. But he also, I think I like about Casey Wolf is as far as a mascot brand, he's got to have the largest stable of backups. I mean, he's got to have like six or seven of those dudes. I think, didn't they take a family photo? Yeah. They, like they, as a joke dude, one year? they are a ton of them. Um, yeah. Shout out to Jordan. Um, and one of the things I like about that also is that means a lot of appearances. Oh, so yeah. more appearances means, you know, more money. Yeah. And also... Um, you get your brand out there. Ex- there you go. Exactly. You know? I love the look. Um, he came out around the same time as Jackson Deville. Um, well, not the same time, but like the same designers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Acme, which then w- was like uh, Raymond's group. Um, but they also do great school programs. You okay. know, and I love the. You know, there's like some mascots who anti bullying. They have a good message, nice. and that's something I really do like about his stuff. So, moving on to, oh, by the way, Jackson Deville is not on my list. Oh, I thought you said he was on your list. I didn't really say that. It's a spoiler, so here you go. <laughs> okay. Number one. Number one. Oh, drum from, roll, please. And I hate saying this because it is a uh, conference rival. Oh. Indianapolis Colts. The Colts. Blue. Blue. You got to know blue. Blue. Do I know blue? Every, come on now. <laughs> Everybody knows yeah, blue. Yeah, Tide commercial, he jumped in that pool. Blue <laughs> has possibly the best social media presence, um, definitely in the NFL. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't. He's up there with like the Benny of the world, the the Gritties of the world. Mm-hmm. He's up there. Um, he just has a lot of great things. He's like he's like the mascot version of Dude Perfect. He's got okay. like trick shots. He's always got something going on. It just looks like a lot of fun. He just looks like the type of mascot. He just it looks like he's a lot he's of just fun. having a good time. Exactly. Like I said, he it, makes it, you want to get in the suit and do or try to do what he does. His videos have a lot of skill. They're funny. Um. He doesn't repeat himself a lot in the way the videos are done. There's uh-huh. always some new stuff. He stays on top of I mean, I'm not a TikToker. Is that, is that how you say um, it? Yeah, you can be a TikToker. He's, um, he stays to seem to stay on top of the curve of like what's the hot thing. Oh, yeah. He's all over the social media. Um, he's also um, got those cool nose um, party favor things. And, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for those uh-huh. uh, nose party favors, uh, which he changes colors. And he's also quite the uh, peewee football dominator. Okay. He's, he's known to <laughs> stick a kid every once in a while or push a kid down. Yeah. There's there's video evidence. Oh, definitely. Man. Um so yeah, that's my top five. Nice. NFL dude. mascots, man. Not a bad top five. No, um I don't I, think I would have changed a lot of them around. No, or? there was some debate whether Jackson would make it, but I don't want to be a homer, um, since he's a hometown guy. Yeah. I think he'll understand. Um I mean, and you're just doing NFL. Yeah. I mean, there's some other great mascots out there. This is just that, NFL, this which is means... just NFL. Which means we'll, we'll have another list. <laughs> there will, you know? I'm sure they'll Maybe be not this week. Maybe next week. We'll see. Plenty of lists. Um, if we make it to next week. But like Chomps from the Cleveland Browns, uh, honorable mention. Okay, that's a good um, one. Fan his. Uh, and I think another good honorable mention. Um, I'm, I like Sourdough Sam. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's the same dude that I worked with, but he could break dance, so whatever. <laughs> you got a white character who as, can break as dance. As long as he can break dance. In San Francisco. So whatever. But that's my top five. I'm sure you have a different top five at, you know, as you're listening to this going, oh, why didn't this person make it? Yeah. If you're from the West Coast, I guarantee you, you have a oh, different sure top five. completely different. We're on the East Coast. So we get, uh, we get the East Coast games more and everything. And like I said, mascot stuff right now, few and far between. Games aren't being played. Um, yeah. But I'd like to hear your opinions. If you think my... my uh, my list is trash. If you think it's awesome, if you <laughs> this is trash, man. Yeah, if you think you know, maybe it's fifty fifty. Take a couple, replace a couple. I don't care. Yeah. Um, but just hit us up on Facebook. You know, uh, if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, I remember seeing that on Facebook. Comment under it when we post it. That's kind of how we're gonna do this. Yeah, we will, we want as much fan interaction feedback because um, we'll come after you. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll completely trash your top five and let you know why ours is better. I <laughs> will definitely pay for a lot of ads, so all your Facebook feed is is going to be Topical 5. <laughs> That's all your Facebook feed is going to be if you guys don't uh, play along with us. You're going to have to block us. We're going to keep these short and sweet. That's going to do it for this episode. Oh, wow. Make sure to, if you haven't found us on Facebook, if, you're fi- if you found us on Anchor, uh, make sure to go to our Facebook. We're going to be on YouTube also. They're going to be running simultaneous. Ooh, I'm like excited that. about this. You know what you can also really do to help the show out? What's up? Just go to Apple Podcasts. If you're an Apple listener, comment on the, uh, oh, you know, give us some feedback. Five star, please. And then maybe five stars, but it definitely helps out the algorithm of where we get placed in the list of podcasts. So make sure 
if we want to be, we are the internet's number one top five show. We are. So we just need y'all to help us continue. That's an, that's an, that's an a prestigious award. Yeah. It's the, pretty amazing. I mean, it's not every day you get named the internet's number one top five show. Try to tell us different. <laughs>